Hello again, Alfred here with another another equipment video for you. This time one one of my eBay finds. So so I found this Con 6D on eBay for about 300 bucks plus shipping. And the listing had said that some work was needed from what you could see here. The, the bell has seen better days, but looks like they've done a pretty decent job getting it back to something of working order. The lead pipe's got a patch soldered onto it, which... I like that solder job a whole lot better than another <laughs> eBay horn that I had found that I ended up having to solder parts of myself. Um, well, I was on a field trip when this came in the mail or came through FedEx and my wife FaceTimed me and showed it to me but the connection quality where I was at was not the greatest so as soon as I got home grabbed my mouthpiece put it in and played a few bars and was actually quite surprised with how how solid a horn this turned out to be for some work needed This is a this is an FB flat double uh, tuning or main tuning slide right over here. But what really astounded me was the way the F slides work. Um, it's dual F slides. And you push this one in, and it pulls this one out. So I'm thinking it does that because if this if this one is out further, then there's a little bit longer tubing to to work with. So it's flatter when it's like this than when this one's out. So thought it was interesting to see a wire holder here, but I guess that's because this particular model is more of a step-up model as opposed to the full pro model that the 8D is, which every hornist in history pretty much knows the Con 8D. I've, I played on an 8D when I was at WT and that was, that was an amazing horn. And for this being more of a student model, I'm still astounded by how well how well this plays. I think the only thing that I really noticed was um, eighth register trigger open tends to give me some grief unless I practice like crazy on it. it like it it almost doesn't want to slot and when it does slot it gives me like this hyper ringing sound but that's something that a little bit more practice I've just grown acclimated to so of course the mouthpiece I'm playing on is the Hammond Design Modified Shilky 0.707 inch inner diameter and slightly deeper cup than the stock 29. So without further ado, let's have a few bars, maybe a, I'm thinking a snippet from the Deep Space Nine theme since I'm such a diehard Star Trek fan and the DS9 theme was always a uh,
favorite of mine to play along to. So the I'm not gonna do the solo. I'm just gonna do the where the rest of the horn section comes in until the end. So it was, it's just been awesome getting back into proper horn playing. I mean, I've been playing on marching horn for the last two and a half years. Um, my time as part of the virtual arts programs, the virtual drum corps and virtual marching band. Um, but one of the things that's also helped is I also got a new trumpet mouthpiece from Hammond. So playing on that's been helping my horn range. And I talk about that a little bit more in my, in my video highlighting this mouthpiece. So keep an eye out for that. Um, as always, huge thanks to Hammond Design best mouthpieces in the game between the custom work that he's done on this mouthpiece and that one mv i will all i think i'm pretty much anytime i'm shopping for a mouthpiece or recommending a mouthpiece i will absolutely be recommending hammond design to my brass player friends thank you guys so much for keeping up with the fun and now that I'm playing a lot more, I hope to be putting out a lot more brass videos from time to time. So stay tuned. Thanks. <laughs>